What's going on? Guys, this is the one of the TAM air handlers that I've done videos on. This one was the one back in July. If you remember, I had one where the outdoor unit wasn't coming on in heating or cooling. And the Y out from the board was stuck open. It would not turn the outdoor unit on. So I'm back. That's the one I bypassed it and just connected it straight to Y from the thermostat. These boards have a built-in protection so that if you have any kind of a freeze fault freeze alert one of these sensors or something in this thing going bad um, it can drop the call to the outdoor unit and get it shut down so that the coil doesn't freeze so uh, it's just kind of a circuit in the board that does that I'm sure most of you are familiar with what I'm talking about but we're back with that board and we're gonna get it get it changed out remember there'll be a link to that video if you want to go see where I was troubleshooting that but um, this gray wire right here was our Y out from the board 24 volt Y in from the thermostat for the condenser in this case it's a heat pump to cycle on as long as this board's not showing any kind of other fault for freeze protection or something like that sensors coil freezing whatever it may be it just allows the board to drop the 24 volts to the outdoor unit so we don't have a coil freeze or some other issue like that. So we're going to get that board swapped out real quick. Alright, so I've got the power cycled off. I'm going to unplug these comms wire terminals. They allow, there's a data board in the middle. You've got your EEV board on this side, and then you've got your airflow control board over here, and these allow things to cross communicate from one to the other to control the EEV and all that. And make sure we get proper refrigerant flow, controls the stepper motor operation right there on the EEV. Remember, you've got your personality module. Whenever you replace a board in one of these or one of the furnaces, it's got the model and serial number of the unit on the back of it. It's specifically set for this unit. So always keep it and put it on your new board. Don't throw it away with the board. It typically, most of the time, it's going to be zip tied in here somewhere. It's like somebody's already cut that zip tie out. We'll get the thermostat wires disconnected first. But uh, if you don't put that module back on there, then you're going to end up with a pretty bad problem because nothing's going to, it's not going to know the sizing of the system. These boards are pretty much universal to the TAM 7s and the TAM 8s. You just have to put that module back in there so that when you put the board, the replacement board in there and set your dip switches for your airflow and tonnage and all that stuff. Um, well, really just your, just going to typically just be your CFM per ton and you'll set it for, um, which air handler, but that records the information. So it sets, so it knows what air handler it's being put into and then allows all that to configure correctly to the unit that you're putting the board in. So don't lose that. We had a situation where we had a guy replace the board and the personality module, the board got turned in for under warranty. The personality module was on it <clears throat> and we had to order a new one, which you have to call, give them the model and serial number to the equipment. They will reconfigure a new personality module and send it to you, but that takes a little bit of time and then that one little mistake we had somebody that was out of a correctly operating system for about two weeks so don't make that mistake and don't lose these little tiny screws either so 
before I put this new board in, I'm going to go in and set my dip switches the same on this one as they are on this one. This is going to be for your outdoor capacity, which on this one is two and a half tons. We're going to set that for that. Then your next one is going to be either uh, heat pump or AC. So you want to make sure that dip switch is set for heat pump. And the next one is going to be your compressor stages and how many compressors. So we have one stage on this outdoor unit. That's good. And one single compressor. That's good. The next two dip switches, I'm going to turn those on. That's for the enhanced airflow profile on this unit. So it'll come on and most really in cooling more than anything else. It'll run that blower for when it cycles on the first minute and a half it'll run that blower at 50 percent airflow pull that air through here real cool while this thing's running or real slow pull out some moisture kind of maximize dehumidification a little bit real quick then it'll run at 80 percent for about seven minutes do a balance between dehumidifying and cooling and then if it's still running after that time out on it it'll go ahead and ramp the thing up to 100 percent and uh and in constant CFM and cool the house down. And so we've got those dip switches set. And we'll get this board set in here. And get our little screws. And I really like this Klein little micro screwdriver. Comes in. Pretty handy for these little screws and thermostat wire at thermostat connections, things like that. And so, and this is the one that has the Schrader tip in the end of it on the other side, and then the Phillips and flat. So, we'll get the rest of these screws in here. And then we will get it powered on. All right, we have everything connected back. And it's plugged in. There's our serial port blower connector for our blower motor. And our communication wires going back and forth between each board. We've got all our thermostat wires. We now have our Y2, or, our, or not our Y2, but our Y out from the board reconnected to the proper place and then last but not least don't forget to put the module back on don't forget it anyway so we're going to cycle the power back on over here and uh, wait for this thermostat to call and see if it's a success you will get red lights flashing when you first power it up because it's just going through test sequences but uh we will get this thing in there and wait for the uh, thermostat to go into a call and make sure that outdoor unit runs like it's supposed to and we will be all done with this one these things they found these boards somehow mysteriously in canada i don't know why you'd want a heat pump in canada I think it gets a little cold up there for a heat pump, but they found them in Canada. All right, guys, we have success. Everything's running back properly now. So luckily they found some of those boards. One down, we got two more homeowners still waiting. Uh, I think you saw one of those videos, um, but we got them scheduled we're gonna get them and get them knocked out they've been waiting for a while to get that board and luckily they were able to finally find some and get them to us want to know the fans not running backwards it's the video fans running wide open this direction thanks for watching